Good afternoon. It is Monday, September 21st, 2020. So this past week in worship, we didn't even get uh, to the psalm. This is my continuing series of all the things I didn't get to talk about on uh, Sunday mornings. <laughs> um, so Psalm 145 that we had uh, before us um, this past weekend, um, a couple things. So Psalm 145 is the uh, only psalm in the Psalter um, that has the title Psalm of Praise, um, that is specifically designated as a Psalm of Praise. Um, many of these last Psalms that we have, uh, basically from like uh, 140 to 150, are Psalms of Praise, um, as are other ones, but this one is the only one in the Psalter that has that particular title, um, a Psalm of Praise. And so listen again. Um, to the things that are said in the verses that we had before us, uh, verses 1 through 8 from Psalm 145. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall laud your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed, and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness, and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. So the psalmist begins by praising God's name, um, and, and saying that I will praise your name um, and, and your work. And the fact that you are our God and our King forever um, and ever, and that you are to be praised, that your greatness is unsearchable. Um, as I think about, <laughs> excuse me, my allergies are bothering me today. Um, as I think about that phrase, you know, so often we do try to search um, God's greatness, and that's not what this is being talked about. You know, we try to Bible studies, prayers, you know, all those kinds of things. Um, the psalmist is just stating that um, no matter what our studies turn up or our interpretation of things is, is that God's greatness is uh, unsearchable, that there's no doubt God is, is, is great. Um, one generation shall uh, proclaim your works to another. That is our responsibility to, to share uh, with each generation the, the blessings and the, the mighty acts of our Lord to, to, to tell each other that. Um, on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate um, that those things, um, those blessings, those joys that we have can be sources of prayer and meditation and giving thanks um, uh, to, to God. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed and I will declare your greatness. Do we take that seriously? Do we declare the greatness of our God? Do we proclaim to others how uh, much we have been blessed and how God has, has blessed us um, as God's people? And then the last line, the Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And I think you know that's one of my favorite lines from scripture, that sense of God's steadfast love um, and God's um, steadfast, everlasting love to us is something that I take great strength from, and obviously it comes from the Psalms. Our reading from Jonah uh, talked about that Jonah got mad actually at God because of God's abundant and steadfast love because he shared that with the people of, of Nineveh. Um, but it is true. Um, and God is to be praised for God's steadfast love and, and faithfulness. So I wanted to lift up that song. Um, and maybe this song can be for you this week. Uh, a source of devotion and thinking and reflecting. And may we praise our God for the blessings that we have received. Let us pray. Gracious God, we do give you thanks, and we are blessed. Even as I sit here in this beautiful sanctuary with the sun streaming in and I can see birds flying by, it is a, a beautiful earth that you have given to us. Help us to be good stewards of all that you have given to us. Lord, you are, you are great, and, and you are to be praised for your greatness, and it is unsearchable, and we give you thanks for your steadfast, everlasting love that surrounds us and goes before us and is beside us and within us and behind us. Lord, we give you thanks for that love that has been communicated to us through Jesus, and help us 
to share that love and that joy that we have in being your people with others. It is in your son's holy and precious name we pray. Amen. God bless. See you next time.